Makerfire have been producing some great products and they describe their Armour 90 as a tank. Well, let's see if it's any good. So into us from Gearbest is the well-respected brand Makerfire, and this is the Armour 90. It's a micro brushless quad, obviously a 90 class. It's available in white and black. Um, you've got the option and it comes in at about 90 pounds, which isn't so bad for a brushless quad with this kind of spec. Um, now, I think I've got the bind and fly version here uh, and it's got a Spectrum DSM-2 uh, or DSM-X receiver inside, but we'll have a look at that when we open it up uh, and we'll find a way to fly it. So let's take a look inside the box and look at what we get. So inside the box, first of all, some stickers <laughs> Ooh. and um, a little instruction manual as well, which looks like it's got details about the equipment, the spares, calibration, prop direction, uh, VTX, uh, and also binding instructions as well, which is nice. Um, and then underneath that, ooh, there it is. Now that's a great looking quad. Really, really unique looking that. We'll have a look at that in just a sec. First of all, let's look at the accessories that come with it. So in the box, we've got, first of all, some spare prop guards. Now these are quite unusual, these prop guards. Not actually seen them like this before, certainly for a micro quad. Um, we've also got some spare props. Now you do only get four spare props, but these have got shrouded prop guards anyway, so you shouldn't be breaking those props too easily. There's also some tiny little bolts here for securing the props to the motors. You also get a USB cable as well for plugging it into Betaflight and programming it. You also get a Velcro battery strap. And this is quite good actually. In here you get a battery. Now the battery is attached to the quad and it looks like quite a decent one actually. The bears, the battery, it's a 350 milliamp two cell maker fire battery and it's a 60C, so quite a high rating battery as well. Unusual that quads come with that these days, a battery, and also bear in mind, this is really cheap, this bundle. So that's great. You also get a USB charger, which the battery balance port slots straight into. So you can use this obviously with any battery that's a 2S with a 2S balance port connector on it. So overall, a really good package. Nice to see it comes with a battery especially. Uh, let's take a look at this quad in more detail. Now this is a really nice feeling brushless quad. Very, very well made. Real good solid feel to it, but it just has a feel of quality about it that you just don't really see on micro brushless quads these days because everything's about the price. But this is a really good compromise. It's cheap, well made, comes with some great accessories and hopefully flies well as well. So we'll find out later in the flight test. First of all, we've got a carbon fiber main frame underneath here, which you can see in the um, underside. And then the prop guards, of course, are plastic, but it really has a rugged feel to it. And I think you can, these, these prop guards are not flimsy. They're not gonna bounce and compress too easily. So um, I think this is gonna be really good for indoor flying, especially. It is available with a DSM-2 FR Sky or PMP uh, receiver. Um, Inside this main big plastic stack here, this is actually a camera protector essentially, but underneath that we've got the flight controller board and this is equipped with an F3 omnibus flight controller. It is running beta flight as well, which is lovely. And you can see on the back there, just about the USB port for programming it into beta flight. Underneath that is a four in one speed controller board, 10 amp maximum there. Uh, and that's um, an all in one. So what's really nice to see no micro speed controllers uh, um, exposed on the arms of this one. Attached to that speed controller board, we've got the little, tiny little brushless motors here. Now they are 1104 and they are 7,500 kV, which is incredibly fast. So very interested to see what kind of power this can output from that 2S battery that comes with it. The props are 1935 and they are three bladed. And as mentioned, you do get spares, but you shouldn't really need them with this. Now this big plastic assembly on top, into that is the camera built integrally. And it's also kind of a protector. It looks a bit weird, but that's what kind of makes this quad look so unique actually. Uh, inside there as well as a VTX, it's a 5.8 gig, 48 channel, 25 milliwatt VTX. Just on top of the case are two little holes as well for changing the band and also the channel that the VTX is set to. 
And just on top there as well is a 3dBi antenna. It's a whip antenna and it does feel like it's been strengthened a little bit to stop that um, sort of snapping or breaking. I don't quite like the way that that is right on top. I would have preferred that to have actually come out from the back here, a little bit lower down, so that if you do happen to crash and roll this, the antenna will at least slightly be protected. On top leaves it quite exposed because if this hits the deck, upside down, the first thing that touches the ground is that antenna, which I'm not too happy about. Then there is this tiny little bit of copper wire. <laughs> now I guess that's the antenna for the receiver. Very odd to see it exposed like that and not covered up in any kind of heat shrink or anything. But yeah, not too sure about that. But that micro receiver is just tucked away inside this plastic assembly as well. It looks like this plastic hood detaches by removing four screws just on the underside. So it'd be quite nice to get access into that to have a look at the internals. Camera on the front is a 600 TVL CMOS camera. Uh, the lens on there gives you 120 FOV, which I like. 130 is a bit too much for me. Normally I tend to find. Uh, unfortunately, the tilt is not adjustable. So you've got a fixed tilt there of about, I would say 10 degrees upwards. Not a great deal, especially seen as this is brushless. Uh, so it is gonna be capable of quite some speed, but we'll see how that fares and if that's a limitation or not when we take it on the test flight. Great thing about this as well is that it only weighs 60 grams. So very, very lightweight, brushless, great specification. However, I don't see a buzzer in here and it looks like there also aren't any LEDs um, sort of on the arms or anything. So lack of buzzer is a bit of a problem for me. On these micros, you really do need that because when these dunk into the grass outside, you really do struggle to find them sometimes. But hopefully the flight controller in here has terminals for buzzers, so perhaps we can add one of those. But overall, quite a nice built quad, very unique looking, love the integral prop guards. They are also, of course, removable. Let's take a look in beta flight and get it bound to our transmitter. So after opening up the lid of this quad, I did find a Spectrum DSM-2 receiver. So the first thing I did was to strip that out and replace it with an XMFR Sky receiver, much better. I then also routed the antenna neatly out of the side, which made for a much better looking installation. Definitely better than that horrible bare wire that they had poking out originally. So it's now time to get the quad set up in beta flight. Now remember, I have replaced the receiver on this one. And so at the moment, things are going a little bit crazy on the receiver tab. So obviously I've installed an FR Sky receiver. It's on S bus. And so I'm gonna change that to the S bus option and save and reboot. If we now go to the receiver tab, hopefully things are looking a bit more normal. Yes, they are. Uh, we've got all our channels mapped perfectly. TAEI is already there for the channel map, so it's working perfectly with our Tyrannis. So enough of beta flight, let's get onto the flight test. But as always, and I promise this is not an excuse, the weather in the UK is terrible. In fact, we're expecting snow again. So the flight test will be in part two. Click that subscribe button now so that you don't miss it. In the meantime, links to this product are in the video description, so go and take a look. Finally, why not give us a comment below? We love to hear from you, positive or negative. So drop a word below and we'll promise to reply to every single comment. Thanks very much for watching.